Quick revision video on esters. So we'll just start by saying what they are. They're a derivative of carboxylic acids where the hydroxyl hydrogen has been replaced by a carbon group or alkyl group. There's the generic formula for an ester and you can see instead of a hydrogen here, we've got this R group, this alkyl group. Do a quick naming exercise. So starting at the top left hand corner, what's this ester called? Well, we name this part first. So this is an ethyl group. And then we go to this part, three carbons here. So that's propanoate. So ethyl propanoate. Moving on to this one here. So we've got one, two, three, propyl, one, two, ethanoate, propyl ethanoate. And this one here, just be careful because the bit with the single bonded oxygen is actually this part here. So you've got one, two, three, four, five carbons in that part. So that's pentyl. And then at this part, we've got one, two, three. So that's pentyl propanoate. And the last one, so this part here, this is a phenyl group. And then counting this way, one, two, three, four, butanoate. Phenyl butanoate. So moving on now to making esters, and that's known as esterification. Actually, three ways we can do this, so we'll go through each one with a slide. So the first way we can do it is to react a carboxylic acid with an alcohol. This is the most common way to make an ester. You need a concentrated sulfuric acid catalyst and you need to heat it. And so the reaction, carboxylic acid plus alcohol, it's a reversible reaction and makes ester plus water. So a specific example now, methanoic acid plus propanol. There's the equation there. So we'll just name this ester. So remember, this part here is the first part of the name. One, two, three, propyl, one carbon, propyl methanoate. So we'll move on to the second method now. So this is acid anhydride plus alcohol. So in general terms, we get an ester and a carboxylic acid formed now. And notice that the reaction is not reversible anymore. The example I'm using is ethanoic anhydride plus ethanol. So there's the displayed formula for ethanoic anhydride and you can see hopefully that it's still got that feature that ethanoic acid would have in it, this acyl group here. So we're going to make this ester here, which we'll name now. So two carbons in the alkyl part, so ethyl, and two carbons in the O8 part, so ethyl, ethanoate. And the final method is take an acyl chloride this time and again react it with an alcohol. So in general terms, acyl chloride plus alcohol gives ester and hydrogen chloride now. Example is going to be ethanoyl chloride plus methanol. And so here's the equation. Basically, we're just replacing this Cl um, for this CH3O part. And the H and the Cl combine to make HCl. So what's this ester called? So we've got one carbon here, methyl, two carbons here methyl ethanoate. So the last section is going to look at the hydrolysis of esters. Hydrolysis is just the chemical breakdown of a substance by reaction with water and in the case of esters we can hydrolyze them by using hot aqueous acid or hot aqueous alkali. So you must reference the fact that they're aqueous. So there's that general formula again for an ester and when the ester is hydrolyzed it's this bond here that breaks. So we'll start with acid hydrolysis. So it's basically the reverse of the carboxylic acid plus alcohol esterification reaction. So ester plus water makes carboxylic acid plus alcohol. The example, we'll look at the acid hydrolysis of propyl methanoate. So propyl methanoate is going to be hydrolyzed, acid hydrolyzed, to methanoic acid. That's the carboxylic acid that would have made this ester and the alcohol would have been propanol. And if you notice, the acid doesn't feature in the equation, it's actually the water molecule. Alkaline hydrolysis now. So this time we take the ester and react it with a metal hydroxide. So the classic one to use would be sodium hydroxide. And instead of getting a carboxylic acid, we get a carboxylate salt but we still get the alcohol. So the example I'm going to do is the alkaline hydrolysis using aqueous sodium hydroxide of propyl methanoate. So 
The same bond breaks, but instead of getting the carboxylic acid now, we get the sodium salt of that acid, which is sodium methanoate. And just be careful how you represent the salt. You can either show it with the charges like I've done, or you can just put ONA. What you mustn't do is have a line connecting the O and the NA because that represents a covalent bond. And you can see very clearly this is actually ionic. So we'll finish with this summary. Esters are hydrolyzed by hot aqueous acid to a carboxylic acid and an alcohol. The acid doesn't go into the equation, water does. Alkaline hydrolysis, so they're hydrolyzed by hot aqueous alkali to a carboxylate salt now and an alcohol. And this time the alkali goes into the equation, not water.